Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher On in Tigusman, and our topic for today is proving theorems on different kinds of parallelogram, including rectangle, rhombus, square. So this is for grade 9, quarter 3. So after you go through with this tutorial video, so you will recall the properties of the pro different kinds of parallelogram. Number two is identify the different kinds of parallelogram. Number three is apply the properties of the different kinds of parallelogram. And number four, prove the theorems on the different kinds of parallelogram. So take note that rectangles, squares, and rhombuses are special kinds of parallelogram. Since these are all par parallelograms, they satisfy all the properties of a parallelogram. So for the benefit of our discussion, let's recall first the definition of rectangle. So a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles, and this is our illustration. On the other hand, the rhombus is a parallelogram with all sides congruent, and this is our illustrations. And finally, a square is a rectangle with all sides congruent, so it will satisfy the condition for rectangle and rhombuses, meaning to say it has four right angles and four congruent parts or congruent sides. So let's move on to the first theorem. So that is the theorem on rectangle states that, okay, if a parallelogram has one right angle, then it has four right angles and the parallelogram is a rectangle. So we will use the illustration on the right side. So we have actually, okay, Quadrilateral WIN S is a parallelogram where angle W is a right angle. So we would like to prove that angle I, angle N, and angle S are right angles. So let's start with our proof with our statement. Okay, quadrilateral WIN S is a parallelogram where angle W is a right angle because that is the given. For number two, the measure of angle W is equal to 90 degrees we have the definition of right angle as our reason. For number three, angle W is congruent to angle N and angle I is congruent to angle S. We have in a parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. Number four, measure of angle W is equal to the measure of angle N as well as the measure of angle I is equal to the measure of angle S. The reason is the definition of congruent angles. Our proof. So statement number five says that uh, says that measure of angle N is equal to 90 degrees because we use the substitution for statements uh, two and four. For number six, the measure of angle W plus the measure of angle I is equal to 180 degrees because uh, consecutive angles are supplementary. Moving on for statement number 7, so we have 90 degrees plus the measure of angle I is equal to 180 degrees. So we use the substitution for the statements 2 and 6. For statement number 8, we have 90 is equal to 90. Of course, this is actually reflexive property. As we continue for our statement number 9, we have the measure of angle 1 or angle I is equal to 90 degrees. So we have subtraction property. Number 10, so therefore, we can say that the measure of angle S is equal to 90 degrees because we use the substitution for statement number 4 and statement number 9. Moving on for statement number 11, we have angle I, angle N, and angle S are right angles because if the measure of an angle is 90 degrees, then it is a right angle. For number 12, we can say that WINS is a rectangle because we use the definition of rectangle. So that proves if a parallelogram has, what, has one right angle, then it has four right angles and the parallelogram is a rectangle. So let's move on for the theorem number two on rectangle. It states that the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So given that 
quadrilateral WINS is a parallelogram with diagonals WN and SI. So prove that WN is congruent to SI. So we will use the illustration on the right side. Okay, so we would like to prove this again. We will use the two-column form for our statement and reason. For our statement number one, so we have WINS is a parallelogram with diagonal WN and SI. And the reason is given. For number two, WS is congruent to IN. We can say this is the opposite size of par parallelogram are congruent. Statement uh, number three is angle WSN and measure of angle I and S are right angles because if a parallelogram has one right angle, then it has four angles and the parallelogram is a rectangle. This is based on theorem number one on rectangle. Number four, uh, angle okay, WSN is congruent to measure of okay or angle I and S. The reason is all right angles are congruent. To continue for our statement, so we have here SN is congruent to SN. We can say that we have reflexive property. For number six, we have triangle WSNN is congruent to triangle INS. We can say that side, angle side, congruent postulate. And finally, we can say that line segment WN is congruent to line segment SI because diagonals of a rectangles are Congruent. Let's move on to theorem number three for the rhombus. So it states that the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. So we have the given rhombus ROSE and we would like to prove that RS is perpendicular to line segment OE. Okay, so this is the illustration. So for our statement number one, so we have rhombus ROSE, so that is actually given. Number two, we have OS is congruent to RO. So we have OS is congruent to RO. And we can say that also that uh, ER is congruent to ES because we have the definition of rhombus. For number three, we have RH is congruent to HS so, uh, as well as EH is congruent to HO. So we can say that RS and EO bisect each other. Number four, H is a midpoint of the line segment RS. We can say this is EO bisect RS at H. Continue for our statement number five, we have RH is congruent to HS for the reason of definition of midpoint. Number six, we can say that OH is congruent to OH because of reflexive property. Number seven, we have triangle RHO is congruent to triangle SHO because of the side-side congruent postulate. And number eight, we have angle RHO is congruent to angle SHO because congruent or con corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. For number nine, we have Angle RHO and angle SHO are right angles because RHO or angle RHO and angle SHO are linear pair and congruent. And finally, RS is perpendicular to OE because perpendicular lines form right angles. Let's move on to the fourth theorem on rhombus. So that is each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angle. So the illustration that we will use is the illustration on the right side. So we have actually a rhombus B, W, X, Y, and we have angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 and angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. So we'd like to prove this one. For our statement number 1, so we have rhombus B, W, X, Y. So the reason is given. Number 2, so we have OS is congruent to RO, so that is the definition of rhombus for our reason number two. For statement number three, okay, WY is congruent to line segment YW. So this is actually reflexive property for our reason. 
Number four is we have triangle. So we have the triangle Y, B, W is congruent to triangle W, X, Y. The reason is for the side, side, side congruence posture. And number five, so angle one is congruent to angle two as well as angle, uh, angle three is congruent to angle four. The reason is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So that ends our discussion on proving theorems on kinds of parallelogram. Again, this is Teacher On and Digisman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.